we finally see what happened to the young lady and what caused the accident of her hanging over the bridge over the Ohio River for 45 minutes in a daring over the water bridge rescue. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. We are heading to Louisville, Kentucky, where we see for the first time since March, I believe. Yeah, March 1st, where this young lady, Cisco driver, was hanging over the bridge after an accident that was caused by another driver. Let's find out what happened. So they got first person dramatic look at the Clark Memorial Bridge crash that left a semi driver hanging over the Ohio River back on March 1st. The video inside and outside the truck cab was played in court Wednesday morning as the man charged in the crash appeared in court. The dash cam video shows 33 year old Trevor Branham pickup swerving in and out of his lane he tried to avoid hitting another vehicle that was stalled on the bridge when he then crashed into the cisco driver that was driven by 37 year or i'm sorry 26 year old sydney thomas as thomas tried to avoid hitting the other vehicles her semi plows through the bridge railings and she was left hanging by the hand of god i told you guys this before when i talked about this story initially that fifth wheel was being held by the hand of god only the hand of god held that truck so this young lady could be rescued i'm telling you for the first time seeing the video as you guys seen it how terrifying it was you could just imagine how this young lady was feeling like literally the camera is pointing straight down at the water man and she's trying her best not to look like for real for real just like hold your breath clench your booty cheeks and just hold on for dear life and just pray in a situation like that that's all you can do that is all you can do is just is just pray 45 minutes before she was rescued 45 minutes of flash by your life situations situations like this put your life in perspective woulda coulda should have comes into your mind stuff that you could have did but didn't do your family your kids if you have any kids in this situation everything is flashing before your eyes right now and the only thing you could do is just pray and hope that you would get rescued which you was again like i said that was the hand of god and as for this guy we're going to go ahead and continue with the story because at the end of the story you is not going to believe what his lawyer had to say about the incident following the crash louisville firefighters conducted a daring rescue to get thomas out of her semi cab brenham was charged with four counts of endangering and one count of operating a motor vehicle with a suspended license he's not even supposed to be driving let alone speeding on a bridge a two-lane bridge at that a narrow let's let's break it even down further a narrow two-lane bridge at that jefferson county district attorney used the video as evidence to lay out the county's case against brenham this is a result manifesting extreme indifferences to human life that could have resulted in personal and physical injury and or death as thomas and her truck dangled over the ohio river police worked to detain brenham and learned that he was already facing charges out of indiana for driving on a suspended license i guess for other traffic infractions as well the witness said in their estimate he was speeding and he was changing in and out of lanes prior to the collision but check this out listen to what brandon's attorney had to say about the incident and i i don't know if he if he meant to say this as a shock or he honestly meant to say it he says as he was arguing for a lesser charge lesser charge hmm. 
saying there were no serious injuries or deaths. <laughs> okay, okay. It, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a serious injury or death, but there was an injury. This lady's pride was lightweight broken. That was an injury. She, she was laid dangling over the Ohio River for 45 minutes, terrified to the fact that she could have been unalived on that bridge that day. So yes, there was an injury. There wasn't a death, but there was an injury. He says, and I quote, it's a traffic accident that happens every day. Hey, yo, hey, niggas get shot every day, B. A traffic accident that happens every day. Hey, yo, hey, niggas get shot every day, B. He said, this one just happens to be news. Oh, my God. Mm, mm, mm. Drivers, let me know what you have to say about that in the comments below, man. Let, look, you, you got somebody that literally put your life in danger and you could have been killed. But his attorney, imagine how she's sitting there listening to this as the attorney that that gives two fucks about us truck drivers just saying, oh, it's an accident. App is, accidents happens every day. Hey, yo, hey, niggas get shot every day, B. You be all right, nigga. You tough, right? If this one just happens to be news, that's all. Wow. He continues to say they charge it as they charge it as first degree Walton endangerment because it's on the news. Well, I'm not sure if the young man is still in jail. He should be should not be on bond because we already know that if he's going to be released on bond he's going to end up to do it again and then he probably just might succeed in running another truck driver over the bridge and that next truck driver that he runs off the bridge my body different i'm breathing different you understand what i'm saying the doctor said i wasn't gonna walk the scene you understand what i'm saying i'm out dash cam everybody dash cam i know how you guys feel about it i know how you guys feel about the privacy but in this case right here the dash cam literally showed the disregard of this driver and the lives that he put in danger on that bridge that day dash camera everybody and i know that prime just recently installed ai dash cameras in their trucks and that's a lot of conversation between drivers such as myself and prime drivers that's getting them but in her situation it it, it showed it showed that this burton character was weaving in and out of traffic putting everybody in danger and it was showing the dramatic scene of of what was going through her mind and and what was going on with her inside of the cab so to a lot of you guys that's that might feel some way about the cameras i still get it but i i will say that this camera if she didn't have it who knows what would have been the outcome then